So this is the game we're gonna play, Housebroken Creators. You could've called me, you could've texted me, you could've emailed me, I would've gave you a free cameo. Just to, just to boost up your views, you know what I'm saying? I know it's rough out there, and that wasn't a pun, but you know, life is rough. About two weeks ago, I freaked out over Housebroken showing Diablo's balls. Diablo is a dog, a little chihuahua, it's not a chihuahua, but whatever the fuck it is. It's a little dog, and uh, he doesn't deserve his balls to be shown like this. And you know what they do you know what they do two weeks after that episode is aired they show Elsa's full-on titties we're talking about the six-pack but that is not a six-pack <laughs> you really thought I was gonna show dog titties huh y'all funny y'all funny but I gotta say the joke is on you house broken I am actually progressive, and I think titties aren't inherently sexual, okay? I think, you know, everyone should see a little nipple, and that's just how it is, you know what I'm saying? Now, am I gonna show dog titties? No! Now, let's talk about this episode. Who's afraid of Boomsday again? And if you don't know what Boomsday is, it's basically the 4th of July. Just a cringy pun for dogs. <laughs> Did you know dogs are scared of fireworks? Um, every 4th of July, I don't know if it's every 4th of July. I think it might be every 4th of July. Um, they basically do a little special to where um, the dogs are just, I don't know, freaking out over fireworks. That's literally all. And I gotta say, the intro, the intro to it was a little clever, okay? Instead of the normal intro, the, the dogs get scared and uh, there's nothing but fireworks playing. The music kind of cuts out. I kind of fuck with it. It's kind of cute. It's kind of cute. But it's not gonna keep my attention. So yeah, the group is doing their normal group therapy, but then the fireworks start going on. And everybody just scatters, everybody does some stupid shit, I'm not even gonna lie. Elsa flashes the TV, it flashes us for whatever reason, God knows why. Yeah, everybody's freaking the fuck out, you know, Jill's had enough of it, she's tired of this dumb shit. And she goes and gets some melatonin, and she drugs the dogs, Honey and Chief in particular. And now the rest of the episode is basically a dream sequence to where... <laughs> They're literally furries. So in the first season, there is a little episode to where um, Chico and the gray one met some furries on a plane. And uh, now, I guess in the second season, all the animals become just anthropomorphic and furry. So I guess the creators of the show are genuinely furry. I guess I didn't know that, my bad. But yeah, both Honey and Chief are dreaming away and uh, the episode kind of flip flops between the two dream sequences. Um, Chief is dreaming about, uh, fucking stupid shit. Chief is dreaming about himself, trying to go through senators in order to pass legislation in order to get the Boomsday gone, because apparently everyone's afraid of Boomsday, not even more than animals. I mean, even more than dogs, excuse me, sorry. And Honey's trip is about her taking a vacation to get away from Boomsday. She wants to just chill, relax, and be alone with her thoughts ultimately and sort of reflect on everything that's been happening because she has been taking a lot of responsibility for people and she feels underappreciated. And yeah, that's kind of all you need to know. I would spoil more of the episode, but there's actually just no reason to spoil it. I'll put up like two clips I found to be weird or like I guess a talking point because there's nothing really to talk about. I wish I were with someone else. Oh! Well, 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 somebody's been a bad girl. Ooh, it's me, it's me! Wait, stop, what am I doing? Goodbye, Shell. <laughs> I mean, I can't really complain. Like, my complaints were that they were feral animals, and you turn them anthro, so... Smack away, go ahead and smack her ass. Do whatever the fuck you want. Uh, I don't fucking know. When facing injustice, there is no choice but to act. I'm Wrestle Dazzle! Who the fuck is this character and why are they in another episode? Like, I don't know what this joke is. It's not a joke. It's just a, re it's just a repetitive phrase. What's going on? It wasn't funny the first time. Wasn't funny the third time. It's not funny in a different episode. Like, what the fuck do you want from me? Oh, it was so exciting to read this scene because as an actor, it's really enjoyable to have all the lines and all the screen time and- Honey! Honestly, I could be very much wrong, but like, Honey's voice actor in this segment seems to be so done with this show. I think, I don't know if this show is going to get a season three. I think they're just under like licensing and they're just forced to do this right now. 
Uh, I mean, under contract, and they're forced to do this right now. I don't know what's going on, but like at the end of the day, honey, you don't have to do it if you don't want to, okay? I love your voice. Actually, hit up my DM. You too, Elsa. Actually, all of the female cast of this show, come to me, and I'm gonna make my own show, okay? That is a joke, if you couldn't tell, because I have no fucking money. Anyway, I'm on to you, housebroken creators. I get it, okay? Just email me. Send me a text. That's all I gotta say, and I'll do a show for you. I'll do a little cameo. Anyway, How's it going, pups? It's a canine, and I'm 